Hello, welcome to the Fourth Dimension Tarot. My name is Maria. I am your Sherpa for this read. If you've never watched me before, I'm an intuitive reader. I do a 10 card spread. First cards out, the first five are an energy read of what you're portraying to the outward, the public, the face you wear, the skin on your face that you wear. And it's embodying everything. It's what you're showing the world. Uh, the following five cards below it are the energy that is like almost like your subconscious, right? This, uh, a few re I mean, a few weeks ago, a reader asked or a viewer asked if I could split them up for Zodiac sign because I was just doing collective at the time. That's too many spirit. And uh, I said, sure, why not? I'm single. I don't have a life. I have my dog. Me and my dog. That's pretty much it. I go to the gym, go to work, and hang out with my dog. Anyway, um, I got a little excited and I was like, sure, I could do that. And I didn't realize, yeah, this is a little time consuming. <laughs> I'm hoping I'm accurate. You guys have made my day. The comments that I receive are fen just phenomenal and super positive and loving and kind and resonate and keep keep me going. And if you didn't know me, um, which most of you, if you're brand new, of course you don't because you don't know me at all. But the reality is, is that at the end of the day, I say a little prayer. I do a little gratitude shout out to my higher power. And I say, thank you so much for giving me this gift, for allowing me to help other people, for making a difference because I get to give back all the wonderful things that God's given me. And I include your comments in there. So everybody that's struggling, I appreciate you sharing all those very vulnerable uh, moments in your life with me that resonate with the reading that I give. That's fantastic. And I pray for you. And I will comment on several. But more importantly, even if you say this is wonderful, and I think it's never been a day since I started this that somebody hasn't said I look like Kris Jenner. <laughs> <laughs> or, I mean, there's like so many people, Lena Horne, um, I've gotten a few, Pat Benatar, I've looked like Pat Benatar. Now I made you think of all those people tonight. It's a haircut. I know it is. I just, I used to have long hair. I just don't look as cute as with, I do. you know. Anyway, thank you for the comments. Keep them coming. If you feel like you can get down with this vibe and you generate and get a little laughter, a little uplifting uh, vibe for the week, please hit that subscribe button. You increase the algorithm even a couple of feet and you can embrace a, a few new viewers that might resonate and get a message out that they need to hear to help them heal, to help them uh, get some inspiration and some direction. That's what we're doing here, right? Is you're spreading love and light throughout the universe. So hit that subscribe button, it costs you nothing, nothing out of your day other than maybe a second, hit that button and that way, You'll be uh, notified when I put new content up because I can barely get these out in time, let alone email and text y'all and say, hey, I have new content up. I'm not doing that. Forget about it. This is enough. That being said, let's get to your spread. This is for Cap, my Cappy friends. You know who you are, little TM. Little shout out to my girl TM. I have a lot of Cap friends. Lots, lots and lots and lots. They, let me tell you about the Caps. They are die hard, go hard, be all, end all friends. They will, um, they will take a bullet, maybe six <laughs> if they need to. They're the people that you will call at three o'clock in the morning with a flat tire and they'll say, send me your location. That's Capricorn. Shout out. Not that they're special, but I'm giving you a vibe of who we're talking about. Who the hell are we talking about? We're talking about caps, my peeps. Bottom of the deck, you have Ace of Wands. It is in reverse. So somebody's either approaching you and you're not interested, which is probably the reality if you know a cap for five minutes, that's the vibe. They have very high standards, nothing wrong with that. Um, but they don't just, they don't play. <laughs> they, they, you gotta come with some substance for a cap. Mmm, they don't like getting their heart broke, no, no, no. And like I said, at the beginning of the read, or the beginning of this, uh, this, uh, this reading, is the first five is what the energy you're showing to the world. The behind five is the energy fueling it, your subconscious, right? So right now you might be walking into a situation where you don't feel like you have enough. You might be feeling a little lack. You might be missing your 10 of pentacles. 10 of pentacles is the most you can get into a row. There aren't 11, it's just 10. And this is the epitome, the apex of the pile of pentacles. Pentacles are resources, love, commitment, guidance. I love it when my kid laughs, can you hear him in the background? He's, he's video gaming, he doesn't know I'm taping right now. Well, actually he does and he doesn't care because he's in his twenties and that's just the vibe I'm dealing with. So just ignore him. Anyway, I've, I've asked him like 10 times. He doesn't care. The 10 of pentacles. Let's get back to this caps. If you're a cap, you're going to just let that slide because that's your energy. Thank you for that. I appreciate you being like that. Other, no, I won't even go into the other signs. <laughs> They'd be a little bitey. I'd be like, shut up lady. Get back to the, get back to the reading. Don't have all day. I have a laundry in. 
So the Ten of Pentacles, this is your overall energy is a little bit of a lack. You want it to be this way. You're waiting for that to happen, but you're you're kind of calling it in. I almost get the fact that you're trying to manifest it in and you're missing a certain situation. You, however, have seven, of pent seven Pentacles. You are investing. Whether you're with somebody or not, it doesn't matter. You're the investor. You're throwing a lot. You're nurturing this plant. You're watching it grow. This could be a job or relationship, actual investments. It could be anything. But your energy alone is feeding this fuel and allowing that plant to survive and grow. Next line. You have the Queen of Swords in reverse. So I have coined this queen. Y'all will appreciate this. My Mafia Queen. Why is that? Well, you know, I'm Italian. Not that I'm from Mafia. And I wouldn't own it if I was anyway. Um, but the Queen of Swords is somebody who's very honest up front. She runs a show. She's a, she's a queen. She's got a kingdom to run, right? She does it perfectly, spot on, every day. Never misses an appointment, spot on with her assignments. She is ahead of time. She's ahead of schedule. She is like totally on task. This is the energy you're producing and that you're generating. However, it was in the reverse. So something, you might be over obligated. You might be... Uh, overcommitted, you might feel a little stretched, a little thin. The other thing about this Mafia Queen is she's carrying a sword. See that lovely sword? It's in her, her hand is on the sword. And she is, look at her face. She is pondering, she is deep in thought, she's considering. She is very open, come and have a conversation to me, with me, but you better come correct because I have a sword and I will cut you. She will not call 911 if she does. She'll sit there and knit a sweater while she watches you bleed out. That's this energy. Why is she in this energy and why is it in reverse, we're gonna clarify. Right below that, what's fueling this queen? <laughs> oh, it's a devil, of course it is. So we have the devil here. The devil can be anything, addiction, codependency, up in your head, narcissism, um, it could be a little bit too much of anything, over imbalance in some area and lack in another. I happen to think, and I've also coined this card because I love it, my uh, Red Hot Chili Pepper. He Doesn't he look like the lead singer of an 80s band? Doesn't he? Look at that. Hello. This would be on some cover album. I'm just, just saying. Look at that. But he is holding his hostage by one string with one finger, and that person is up in their head. What is going on, Cappies? Why is this person in your head? What's going on? Maybe it's just an addiction you can't get rid of or a relationship you can't quit thinking about. Something you're overextended with. We'll find out in a minute. Middle of the spread. Mmm, I think I'm figuring it out. I'm sorry. So Caps, we have a three of pentacles. That's one too many in your two-seater mobile, right? Somebody sitting on the lap of another person. This might be a third party energy. This might be that what I, if you're not in a relationship, you're not getting out of a relationship and your heart isn't broken, this doesn't resonate. Turn me off, find another reader that it does. That's okay. I have very thick skin. Like I said, I'm Italian. I don't care. It's okay. Come back another week. I'm sure this will vibe with you. This might be work related though, because there's three pentacles. And again, pentacles so far is on the table and your pentacles are related to obligation, commitments, work, etc. So there might be a threatening situation at your job, two people going after the same job. You might uh, feel overextended at work. You might feel a little bit compromised. You're definitely threatened because you're exhibiting this this queen of, of swords that you don't want anybody to see because it's inverted. You might, you might just want to cut somebody, you know, like that might be the case, or it could be a relationship with somebody who's a little toxic. We don't know. We will find out when we clarify. That's the center. The Eight of Cups is you're considering walking away. This is your subconscious fueling it. I don't think you have yet. It could have been if it was a relationship, of, an expired relationship from the past that you're thinking about or you're being approached with to revisit and start anew. Or this could be work-related, like I said, and you're considering walking away. Whew, we're almost through. Hang in there, four more cards. We have the Chariot, and it's in reverse. Chariot is incoming forward, moving action. This is, uh, you're waiting, you're waiting on something. You're not moving forward. You wanna move forward. You just don't have the resources to do it. You don't have the intelligence, the knowledge, something stopping you from moving, taking action on this. And you're in your head about it. Oh my goodness. 10 is you're dead. 10 is, ten, you know, you heard the, the straw that broke the camel back, the camel's back. This is nine. You are super close to dropping that last wand and dropping the whole pile and just walking away from whatever the hell it is. Remember what I talked about in the previous one is you're considering quitting. This is like, you're almost there. Like whatever it is, quitting a job, quitting a relationship, marriage. I don't know. I'm not you. Every situation is different that it's watching, but you are embodying the spirit of effort. That's what that, that's just, 
Hmm, haven't pulled the trigger. No, 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 haven't called that attorney, haven't filed that, that resignation, but man, you are sitting on the fence. That's what this means, this little. Last two, you're, you need to go in hermit mode, right? This is this one. You're not, you're not, you're angry. You're embodying a little bit of anger. You're embodying entitlement. You're embodying a uh, victim. That's what this means. Sorry, that's what this means. This is, I am open to, this is like God putting you in this position. This is a major arcana card and you are being forced through pain usually to look at the whole situation in the 360 view. That's this card. It is in reverse, so you're not quite there yet. You're missing it, the facts. And I think that's just natural, right? That's just the natural like trajectory of pain. We get in pain and we immediately get defensive. We draw our swords. We're waiting for a fight. We're collecting all of our data in our mind. We're writing resignation letters. We're walking out on spouses. We are doing a lot of things up here, but we haven't acted on it. We haven't gotten to the place with a, whoo, maybe I need to take a step back and look at it from a 360 perspective. No, we're not there yet. We're still in this mode. But the cool thing is, the Page of Swords is an honest conversation coming forward. Again, not ready for it. It's in the reverse. This is, I want one. You're open to it, but you're not ready to have it yet. <laughs> you want it. That's the extra. You want to have a conversation, but you're still guarded and you're hurt and you're angry. Let's find out. Oh my gosh, Cap, what a busy mental week you have. And again, the Ace of Wands, remember we started this? The whole week is a brand new passionate um, beginning of something and it's in the reverse. You don't want to revisit this. Could be an X of something, some form, some kind. Okay, out on the table, got a lot of things. We have the death and rebirth in reverse. So this is a couple things. Either you are walking away from a relationship. You did walk away from a relationship and somebody wants to rebirth it. Or it is a rebirth and there's two, there's several things. Somebody's offering you a dead relationship back. Yay, it's like dead flowers. They want you to come back. <laughs> They want you to retry this. You know, I always laugh at this card when it's in reverse because it's like, so I take my garbage to the curb and then I miss it. That's this card. I, should I go back out to the garbage curb and pull that shit back in here and go through it? I don't think so. It's out on the curb for a reason. Why the hell would I go back? Out? That's this card. What? Like, what? That's what you're doing. What? Wait a minute. What? That's what's happening. What's happening here? That's what's happening here. That's the vibe. So you are either, you're questioning. And if you're at a job, you're like, why am I staying? I've already, I've already put my resignation in once and I've stuck it out this, I resigned and rescinded and now I'm going to resign again. I mean, there's a lot of that kind of feeling like you heard me the first time, right? That's kind of the vibe. Yeah. Page of Pentacles. Somebody's asking for a brand new beginning. I can't make this up y'all. I hope this doesn't resonate. Yeah. The Knight of Wands used to have a lot of fond memories for this person. Probably the Red Hot Chili Pepper lead singer. I'm just saying, he is cute though. In the 80s, he was kind of fine. I'm just saying. But you might have had fond memories. No, not so much. You've kind of been to the circus, been <laughs> seen behind the Wizard of Oz, and you're just like, I don't know if I really want to entertain this again. I'm not sure I want to go back and experience all that fun time again. Don't. I don't think I want to do it. It created a sense of ouch and I don't think I want to hang in there for a hot minute I think I'm okay you're making a decision you're making a decision maybe you're the person who created this crap storm I'm just saying or you're the person who wants to recover from this crap storm from this with this relationship either way I got the king of pentacles right and the three of wands so what this tells me cap I think you're moving forward in this spirit. I don't think this is the other party. I think this is yours. You've got your crap together. You know what you're doing. You want to move solid. I think this is somebody who knows what they want. They run companies and they're like, I get California vibes. Like they're wearing skater shoes. They got khakis. They're wearing a lime green sweater. You know, the girl in the hair long. He's like, you never know that he'd be the owner of Tesla. You know what I'm saying? He looks a little homeless. I like him. I'd hang out with him. I'd have coffee with the guy. He has a wolf next to him, right? So when I look at this guy, this is the this is the spirit you're embodying. I'm gonna move forward. I'm fine. That's this card. I'm moving forward. This chick has already made the decision. She's not saying, should I go surfing today? It seems to be the weather's lovely. She's not doing that. She has a surfboard in her hand, standing at the base of the ocean, waiting for that wave to come in. She's just wondering which one's hers. She's waiting on timing. That's this card. I'm just waiting for my wave to come in. Spirit, tell me about this devil for Cap and this inverted mafia queen. What's happening here? 
Again, hit that subscribe button if you find this entertaining. <laughs> I sure enjoy it. All my cat friends are going to text me as soon as this is posted. Y'all know that, right? Yeah, I think this was a previous relationship. If you only knew the irony in this read, this is like the seventh read I've done for a friend of mine and it's all the same cards. I, every single time, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Can't change the cards, that's how they come on. So let's talk about the devil. This toxic person that you absolutely adored at one time. You're not revisiting. It's a tower in reverse. They want to come back and reverse the tower. I, we talked about this. This is a previous relationship. They're saying hi. Or this is a relationship. Like this could be, the. there could be so many, and there's a lot of people watching, so forgive me. I'm going to give you a couple of scenarios. Either, several of you, for the majority of you, the red hot chili pepper dude, this guy, I think is going to come back and say hello. It's Valentine's Day. He has a little bit of a uh, nostalgia. I don't see that card out yet, but I'm sure it's going to be on its way. And I don't think you're interested in entertaining it. <laughs> uh, it's in the reverse. My apology. But I do believe that if this were a new relationship, right, that you're embodying, that you're in a new vibe, you're in, and somebody's approaching you with an opportunity, I think this may be something you are interested in addressing it's a page of one it's a passionate new beginning so that's on its way you might have some residual feelings about this you might be guarded right you might be in your head you might be considering options that's the next card i don't know if this is dating apps kind of vibe this is i think just generally you're you're attractive you're showing up as a king of pentacles you're stable you're solid you own Tesla, right? You're doing fine. And people recognize that. They're attracted to your confidence. They're attracted to your, your well-being. You're not running around. And the other reason why I say that, if you have the world, and the world is a period, it's a period. It's not a comma. It's not a semicolon. It's not a dash. It's a period. You have ended this cycle a while ago, and it's in reverse. So I, for a handful of you that this lovely um, Red Hot Chili Pepper lead singer is going to come and knock on your door and say, hi, I missed you. It's been a minute, but we want to chat. You ended the cycle already. Now, it's your cycle. It's your chapter. You can take the other characters from previous chapters anywhere you want in your storyboard. You've got free will, self-will. Take it where you want. Spirit's saying you've already ended this. You can surely evaluate the situation, get in your head, try to have an honest conversation if you're willing. Um to see if this is somebody that you want to entertain in the next chapter, it's up to you. But you do have a lot of, op you know, you've got a lot of opportunities ahead of you, a lot of choices. Because you ended that, this cycle, this chapter, Spirit says you have some gifts coming that are due you. You've bypassed, overstepped, chose to turn down, be committed to this uh, lovely person here. And that because of your loyalty and your dedication and showing up authentic and doing all the right things, you learned your lessons. You closed this chapter, you moved on and you've healed. I saw the healing card somewhere in here. I apologize, done a few readings today. So you've healed over the situation, this tower moment, and you've taken some things forward with you and you didn't feel like you got your 10 of pentacles fulfilled, right? And so your spirit team is showing up and they're going to provide that to you. That's what's coming down the road. Caps, I swear, as I'm standing here, right this or sitting here telling you this, this is universal law. You know, we don't like gravity. You cannot believe be a flat, whatever. I'm just saying, if you live wherever you live, let's say you live in Japan and or here in Colorado or in California and you're disagreeing with any of what I'm saying, fair. Trust me, I, I was with you at one point. However, gravity is a universal law, and if I drop an apple every single time, wherever I live, Japan, California, Colorado, that apple's gonna drop, regardless of how I feel about it, whether I believe in it, doesn't matter, right? Cat, this is the world turning in your direction for the closing out this chapter. Well done, my good and faithful old servant. Well done, you've, you've learned your lessons. You've done what you need to do. You are faithful and solid and true to yourself and income the blessings. Be prepared. You're going to get brand new. You're going to get to see a lot of aces in your next few reads. I guarantee you in the next several weeks coming through new jobs, new opportunity, new relationships, the solid ones coming in. This I feel might be a test of the universe. You are sitting in this, even though you're the empress, if you're a female, this is the, what you're embodying. You've got your game going on. You're solid in your sharp cap. I think, um, 
This lovely lead singer may take a back seat this time and you might choose to go forward and start a new excursion in a new chapter with um, a new lead singer. <laughs> Maybe of a folk band, I don't know, R&B, I don't know. I can't make this up. I have, I have a few friends that are lead singers in our caps of an R&B. Sorry about that, shout out to them too. This is what you want. You want a childlike fun. You want to be light. You don't want anything heavy. You want to just enjoy your time with your girlfriends. You want to go out and have a few drinks and go dancing. That's you right now. That's what you're embodying. You want to have joy, peace. I'm going to end right now. Yes, I'm going to end right now. Holy crap. I can't make this up, y'all. I hope somebody's recording this. I, I swear. For your own. For your own. I already have it. Um... Seven of Wands, if you do record this for yourself, this is your embodied energy. This isn't what I'm like, oh my gosh, about, but this is pretty cool. This is you, this is your tribe. You're calling upon your Reiki master, your spiritual gurus, your friends, your family, anybody that you consider Sherpa in your tribe behind you. And they're coming in, you're sitting in a space of peace. Look at you, look at you, you're completely in peace. You're trying to get your Zen. That's what we talked about, Zen. I love it. You have a fool. This is where we're gonna close. You have a fool. Can't have a fool. It's a brand new zero. See that little zero next to the fool? This is a blank slate page. You only get this card ever in tarot after you get an ending. You close this story down. You shut the chapter. You threw the book on the shelf and you're ready for your new chapter, your new stories. You're ready. And spirit, right between the two, you're in between, right? That's when the blessings come in. There is a test always to make sure the universe is like, are you really, are you really done? We're going to test you one more time. That might be the red hot chili pepper. That might be the boss that's taking advantage of you that you're done with. That might be the conversation you're afraid to have that you're up in your head about. There's a lot going on here for a whole bunch of people, but spirit is telling you, you got to trust yourself, go in and close this chapter. If you haven't, say the things you need to say so you can go into the new chapter. If it makes sense to you, I'm not you. If you want to, you can surely bring these characters. If you feel they've done some work, bring them on into the new chapter. You love them, they love you. You got nine, possibly you're waiting on your 10. They're offering you nine pentacles. Yeah, they're offering you nine. You're waiting on the 10th. Below that is your nine of cups and below that is your healing. You're still healing, y'all and you're leaning in on your Sherpa tribe and your higher power and your guru gods, all of them, you know what I mean. Don't, I don't need a bunch of emails. And this means, this card means healing and it means um, you're the shining star. You're the star, you're the uh, wish fulfillment in somebody's life. That's what this means. Wow, Cap. Wish I were Capricorn this week. Lots of fun stuff. And again, we're in the universe, universal timing. There is no clock. Several of us are on separate different timelines. This may have already occurred. They're like, why are you reading last week? I'm like, I just can't, you saw me do the cards. I get those. <laughs> it's like, this isn't like, this isn't like a stage TV show with uh, scripts and real actors. It's me on my, in my office with my kid playing video games. I'm just saying it's live and in, not Memorex throughout, you know, shout out to the eighties. All right, so Caps, love and light to you all. If you feel like this was entertaining or at least educational, if you left feeling better than you did when you first found me, hit that sub subscribe button so you're notified when content is uploaded. Hit that like button, share this algorithm, and share with, with another Cap that could use this message. So until next time, love and light and take care. Have a great week.